Greetings, uh, Jeff Paul from the Fine Wine Delivery Company Radio with Pitches. I'm delighted to be sitting seated here today with Clovis Tattinger. Welcome, Clovis, to uh, Welcome. to the Fine Thank Wine you, Delivery Jeff. Company and Thank to New Zealand much, again. Uh, and um, of course, it's uh, uh, two or three years since we've seen you here, so it's great pleasure to have you back. Uh, but I thought while we had you here at the Fine Wine Delivery Company, it was a great uh, opportunity to. Um, to perhaps discuss a little bit about Tattinger and its history um, and, uh, and, and perhaps let some of our viewers uh, in New Zealand understand a little bit more about firstly the Tattinger family and the history uh, of, of Tattinger um, and then perhaps we can uh, talk about champagne trends worldwide I think is a really interesting thing to see where that's happening. Whatever you want. Yep. Just, uh... Uh, and we'll finish off discussing your styles of champagne. Um, so firstly, um, uh, Tattinger, a little bit about the family history. Now you could probably go on for hours and hours about this, but we don't have a long time. So <laughs> you tell me uh, and the viewers a little bit of, uh, about the history of, uh, of Tattinger Champagne and the family. You know, you know uh, we, don't have, we don't have a long time, you know, and, um, and the family, you know, it's a quite, a, quite a recent family in the, in yes. the world of, uh, of Champagne, you know, with, uh, with the beginning, the, um, we, we began, you know, uh, in the middle of the 30s, you know, and, Really, after the Second World War, Second World War, and Tetanger became extremely famous. You know, in ten years, you know, um, we created uh, our place. You know, among the top prestigious champagne house. You know, uh, uh, at the end of the 40s, the beginning of the 50s, and since uh, since then, you know, we 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 remained a great familiar 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 house to uh, with uh, with great assets. You know, great wines. Mm -hmm. Great wines, great, great, great vineyards. You know, we are the, one of the most, uh, the most biggest vineyards of Champagne. You know, and control a lot of the Grand Cru. Uh, and we control, yes, we control uh, many of the Grand Cru, a uh, yeah. lot of the Grand Cru grapes, and also we control m most of our supplies in terms of uh, of grapes. Mm. So your Pierre Emmanuel, your father, yeah, yeah. he would he have been. Um, Active within the um, within Tattinger Champagne during the war years, for instance. The war. Uh, the war years between sort of 1940 and 1945. No, no, my father is a is a young guy. Young guy, yeah. Such, I, such as you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have the same age, you yeah, know. And uh, yeah. no, no, he was uh, he born uh, far after the Second World War, and uh, he's not been uh, no, he's not been uh, he's not been active. He's uh, okay. he's the president since uh, four years, you know. So, <laughs> and still a long life in front of him. A charming man too. Um, now, in that regard, um, is there any sort of um, interesting story or family history surrounding those war years? I know in Champagne, when you can read books about the war years there, they, they had some really interesting interaction with the Germans, of course. Yeah, uh, you know, it's always a, it's always a, tough, uh, a tough subject, a sensible subject for, oh. uh, for us, the French. And uh, if, uh, as you said, you know, there were a book, you know, written by uh, Mr. Kastrup yes. and his wife about war in Champagne, dealing with the main, um, the main, uh, the main uh, histories yeah. about the Champagne makers and the Germans. Tetanger was, uh, of course, one of uh, was was uh, was mentioned, you know, many times. You yes. know, he was um, he's been uh, he's been uh, arrested by the by the German to have uh, to have. Um, he corrupt a little bit the quality of the wines. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. He did not give the, the first choice and even the third choice. You know. <laughs> yeah, very very smart man. So he was preserving some uh, some good uh, stocks of the of great Challenger Champagne. I don't wine, I, I, I don't I don't think it was a question of preserving, but it was just a question of uh, of uh, I think not giving good quality wines at all. Yes. To uh, to the at the time the, the enemy. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and that is a fascinating book, by the way. I've yeah, read yeah. that, isn't it? And, yeah, uh, fascinating you know, book. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people should uh, should definitely at some stage have a look at that uh, mm. that book on War and Wine.